Yeah, so today is boat day. We brought the mechanic to uh, to the boat today. He's gonna see what it is gonna take to get the old motor out and the new motor in. Uh, so he, he wants to get his truck down here with the crane, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Check this out. We see this in every episode, they're kind of building it. This little uh, speedboat, it's getting there. They do really good work, all the curves and everything. So yeah, one of our subscribers came with us today. They wanted to see the boat and uh, he let me drive his big ass truck. So yeah, that was kind of fun. Uh, so anyways, let's get over to the boat. We're just like two minutes away now. So we got the whole skim coat on the entire hull, except for this top piece because we were replacing the whole floor. Uh, but we got to get new outriggers and before we do that we got to get the new engine and all that in installed so but we got this all man this is super smooth really nice now hopefully no seams but we're gonna of course do a, a sanding instead of grinding we're gonna sand uh, the whole the whole hole uh, before we paint it we're still like mixing and and debating on paint colors they don't they only have like base colors here uh so we're mixing and experimenting right now but anyways the whole entire hole is done all the all the uh let's go look at the other side because uh, in the last video i think we were doing the uh, other side ultra strong brand new marine ply exactly what i wanted remember we kind of in one of the last videos we had a, a debate with the guys saying i don't care even if it's not rotten or doesn't need replacing we replaced the entire whole skin and we even reinforced and doubled up on the uh ribs or stringers or whatever they're called uh and we got this really nice ultra thick uh marine ply with the there's no there's gonna be well, I'm sure there's going to be some left that we don't find, but there's almost no steel or iron uh, nails in this thing. All bronze and copper. So, yeah, right now the mechanics are here looking at how they're going to get the engine out. Getting it out is not going to be a problem. They can chuck it over on the beach and then a whole bunch of them could carry it out. But we're debating if we can get a truck down here. Let me see this. If we can get a truck my truck is parked over there can we get a crane truck we're gonna have to cut this tree which i'm sure they're not gonna be happy take down the fence take down this uh, whatever little shed thing is and then if the crane can reach all the way from this wall because we can't get past this wall there's no way of getting past this wall if we can do it like that that's what they're here uh that's what they're here to decide but i'm not sure I think they're gonna have to carry it all the way. It's already sitting right there. Let me see. It's already right here under this tarp. I think they're gonna have to get a whole bunch of dudes, carry it down to right here. And then we're gonna have to get a lift to get it up there, this 10 foot or 12 foot. And then we're gonna have to cut a hole in the, the pilot house, so. That's what they're here right now, debating, getting a little strategy. <laughs> this, thing is, this thing is looking smooth. I mean, they there is no um, bare metal, bare, bare wood. Right there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's some paint or something. Yeah, it's looking good around the prop shaft. Nice. And then we got I don't know if you guys remember, we replaced this whole uh, rail for the floor. So when we're ready to, I'm not going to do much more work on it until we get the motor because if the motor drops, it's going to break the floor again anyway. But then we'll come in here and smooth that, you know, uh, that whole board out so it matches. It's level with that. We got a subscriber and student and a friend here with us because he wants to build a boat as well. So we're getting details and design ideas for building his own boat, huh? Yeah. So for the paint scheme, I just said we we're uh, debating it still. So here's the front of the boat, basically the hole. So uh, what I'm thinking is this whole nose of this, maybe not this. This may stay, you know, like standard to issue colors so I got. But everything from the bottom, the nose back to about right here, I would think. And then 
just like that angle the, the, the curve is there right there bring it down like this to the water line where most boats are blue bring it down to that line and that would be the pink section and then come back here with the second section so like that and again bring it down and go to the back the same way but with that bright green like your t-shirt here so basically the whole nose will be pink and then skinny out and get you know to the water line the all back. the way back yeah it'll be pink the water line and then the front and, and the then front. the rest I'll, i'm gonna put a, a photo on the on the screen and then the back is going to be the same thing it'll be your your critter orange but it'll cover the back just like the pink covers the front and it'll come feeding forward into where the the green will stop the light green and and then we're gonna have to decide on a, all this blue needs to go away yeah, well, so the deck needs to be something else. Yeah, we're going to do something. We're not going to do that pink. We're going to do this something else here. Because but, but we could do that later because we already paid for the hole. So I want to have them paint and finish that. Yeah. So that we and the motor so that we can get it over and do a lot of this at the resort. Yeah. Because if it's floating and everything, I get 10 or 15 guys at the resort every day saying, Where's the boat? I want to see. It'd be nice to be like, It's right there, that pink thing out front. Doug, it just okay. Enough with the games stuff like that, guys. It's really CGI. There's nothing here. We're just screwing with you. This is this is the yeah. the this is the. Uh, it's amazing how you can't really see the goggles on us. That's what these are. Really, it's a CGI goggles. I'm just I'm I'm sorry. I'm playing in a blind here. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> All right, let's. I want to get on there and really, see what all the. All we need to do is decide. You know, I think coming about back about here, maybe even more. No, nah, I, I think we want to have a, a little, little green. Let's, let's see what little, it looks like. A little green to, just bring a sharpie out so that we can kind of swoop a line down. As long and show as the we guy. can make a cool looking green, because I don't like forest green or something. No, 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 no. It's going to be the, the, the yeah, like this or the, the bright green, the series green. The, even brighter than this. Series oh, green. Yeah, yeah, the Sears bus. You guys know the Sears buses? Yeah. That green on top of the pink. Oh, do we have to cut that now? That's going on the <laughs> members only. <laughs> All right, I want to go see what the mechanics are thinking inside the boat. So first of all, here's the floor that I was, I'm going to replace, but I put a stop to it because we're probably going to break it again anyway. And right now, here's the plan. So we're going to get a boom truck. We're going to cut some fences down, some trees down, clear the area a little bit, and it's going to one that's going to be able to reach over the wall all the way over here. We're going to take this mast off because, like I said before, uh, we're replacing it anyway. This is like a four by four tiny mast. We're gonna put a six by six that goes all the way down to the bottom of the hole. Right now, if you guys remember last episodes, it's like halfway, it's, it's not really sturdy. And we want it to be way longer because I'm gonna put like a giant pirate flag and some speakers like right of the Valkyrie. So when I show up at a dive site, it's gonna be like And they're gonna be like, oh, there's the critter boat. Uh, this pain in the ass is here, but everybody else is gonna love it. Anyway, so we'll just take this off, get it out of the way. They're gonna cut, these guys are gonna cut a hole here. Oh, sorry. Uh, so we'll cut a bigger access here. I'm gonna, we're gonna put some bamboo or some wood and whatnot here just to protect the floor a little bit, because that's like a 1500 pound motor. And then they're gonna have, they're gonna get this ready this motor ready to go out, uh, everything unbolted, just ready to go because this truck is really expensive to to rent per hour. So as soon as it gets here, take the old one out, throw it out, put the other one in, have a whole bunch of people here, I guess, and like a little slide going down uh, to slide down into the into the spot. That's why that is kind of why we bought the same motor so that no customization with the motor mounts or anything like that i think they might take the transmission off when they do it i'm not sure but it's going to be a crazy video so guys this is the plan for removing the entire engine okay so the first thing is this one had to cut this one here cut this one because this is already fixed and this one also fixed here okay no need to uh, bring this one up only this one to cut cut this one and some of the bolts is already corrosion, so we have to cut this one, cut that one, cut another side. This one we have to uh, uh, cut also this one. Okay, cut the other one here also. And then what we do, uh, we go slide going up, okay? So we have to remove the entire section on that side. So 
we use the boom trap we tie that one in that side we lay it up a little bit and then let that one to slide going up to the to the area there so and also this one we have to cut also we have to remove this one here cut because only this this side should be cleaned up the rest should be stay only the engine and then cut some portion in that area there to make it easy there to going up yeah so that's the that's the plan okay see because with it being hoisted up like this you know we're gonna put all that way onto the the very back of the boat so we'll yeah we'll figure it out yeah it's strong mm -hmm. see the bubbler says it's strong so yeah you think there's no problem Are you okay? yeah see that gives me a little bit of sh assurance but yeah can't wait to see it happen so this is an awesome project and uh, you guys saw in my last video how busy we are that's why we can't be here every day or else this we could have had this whole boat done in like a month or less um, it's driving the boat builders crazy telling them we want to be there to film it show you guys but uh, that being said it'd be cool to get this motor in get the paint get it get it all ready to go and just get this over to the resort uh moor it out front and start working on the uh i mean all the other stuff on the deck we can do out front or park it on my beach if we need to or whatever just have mechanics or woodworkers or whoever come to the boat there's just so many other plans i'm going to do once we once we do that and it'd be cool if like i have an extra two hours off i can just go out and work on the boat or I can have people there every day, it don't matter. Or Elvis can just go out there and film what they're doing because it's not a four hour drive. So like for example, all this blue mat, you see all this? We gotta replace that. I don't want blue. Every dive boat here is blue and white. So I gotta be different. I gotta make it uh, stand out. Some guerrilla marketing, man. Just like Saul on Everybody Call Saul. <laughs> it's just gonna be ridiculous. So uh, yeah. Let's see what uh what else we're gonna do today. I'm not fighting you with the There's stick. Another one. No. Okay. Okay. That's, yeah. Um. We're good. <laughs> now I'll fight you. Okay. Okay. The the topic of today's discussion slash argument is above the wheelhouse. We got that seat up there. How Here. about this? How about we get people to vote? Vote. Well. Yeah. We'll, well get, yeah, the, the, you'll get, yeah, but everybody. Agrees if we give them me. two options, they'll give us the third option. Well, yeah. But, <laughs> I know, but people people agree with me because I'm reasonable, you know. Yeah, they yeah, so they agree, I'm gonna they agree with me because I'm guapo. Uh, guapo, yeah, right. Neck beard. Yeah. All right, what what do you want? Okay, so I want I want it like this with the regular seating area yeah. open. And people could sit up there. There'd be show, shade show above what it looks that. Like. Yeah, bye. Yeah, right. We got that seat up there, and that's what I came across on. And I didn't even sit in the seat because I can't fit in there. I had to sit on top. Yeah, of we'll 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 raise the roof. We'll put solar up there. We'll make it shady for those people as well. But I like the open seating. I want to enclose it, make it into a liveaboard, put air conditioning up there, and let people still sit up there and look out the sides. See, normally I think that would be awesome, but we're gonna use it every day for like two hours at a time, not. Not live aboard journeys where we need to go sleep and all that. Where do you, how do you think I'm gonna sleep? I'm gonna come over to the resort. You're not I gotta invited. have some place to crash. As soon as I get you off this boat, that, that's it. That's it. I've had it. I've had it. Okay, vote, vote. You know, do we do we keep the uncomfortable little seat up there uh, for two? No, people? it'll be better than that. Just an open one though. No, 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 no. Anybody no. can climb up there, sit and watch the view go by. You're, you're not. You're you you you're. you're incapable of building anything so it's, it's not you, me but somebody yeah okay <laughs> you, you can't even describe things right so you won't ever get it done it, it goes or like do we enclose that you know make it so we can put the sides down on it and make it a liveaboard and it'll be like a mini school bus up there during the daytime when people want to sit up there and just film you know it's gonna look so ugly it's gonna be like three stories hotel hey it's already there's nothing this, there's nothing this, wrong like with ugly there's nothing already, wrong with ugly i'm ugly people like me no they don't they lie to me they tell you they do well i'm good with that I'm well fine with that. you know what i don't care about people delusional i am too so they, they like me when i'm ugly think about we have elvis his brother all his kids running around you make that a cabin they're still gonna be like oh there's another roof they're gonna climb on the roof of that and then they're gonna be there's no, no shade no, no. elvis and his brother are only gonna be thinking about one thing rolling this 
You lose. <laughs> Vote. All right. Vote well, the right put, way. If we put another cabin there, then people are going to want to go on that roof. Then you're going to need shade for that roof. It's going to be like a six-story boat. It's already taller than every boat in the city. Yeah, what's wrong with tall? You got, you got something against tall? Tall people hit their heads on things. That's why we got to raise it. Make it a little taller because I can't even sit up in that seat. I got to sit on top of the seat on the roof. That's where the solar panel is going to be. I won't be able to sit on it. I'll be baking my little hiney. Just vote. You'll hear like. Do we have an open deck on the roof with shade or do we have an enclosed AC? No, no, no. Cabin? It'll still be. There won't be shade on it. It's just that little bits of shade up there. No, we're, we'll add I'm more gonna have, shade. I'm going to have complete shade up there and it's going to be able to be enclosed. You're talking about enclosed like this? No, I'm talking about temporary enclosed. Oh, you're talking about roll-up sides? Yes. That's the same thing, but with roll-up sides. No, 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 no. You were talking about just leaving a chintzy little seat up there where nobody. No, can I said we'll make a better roof no, dude, no, and you, shade. You didn't, we can put solar on you top. You didn't describe any of this out at all. You're actually see, you're. It's the same thing as. So we're saying the same thing. It's the same thing with the stairs. I thought you meant see, make I another. I had the right idea, and you're just like just so against everything. I thought you said. Uh, you said I thought you meant make another cabin like the first one. Like a full enclosed cabin. No. Like a freaking bus. No. I'm talking something with rails around the side of it and stuff Fuck, like that. Fuck, I don't care if you put temporary roll-up sides on the thing. That, there's nothing to vote for. Loser. It's the same thing. Loser. It's the same thing. Go off and cry now. I win. Take your beating. You don't win. I win because it's not a, another cabin. It is another cabin. No. It's a roll-up. It's a tent-type cabin. Okay. Okay. So, basically, my truck has a cab. Yeah. In the back is not a cab. That's a, it's got, it'll have like temporary, not temporary, but like soft canvas top and all that. Have you seen your truck recently? It's dirty. <laughs> not dirty. It's but, the but, dead. So that whole clip, we had to like cut most of it, you know, cause I was excited because I thought I was going to be able to use the whole thing. You know, I was like, oh, perfect. Easy editing. Then boom. Next sir, Justin, we're going to get canceled now. No, it'll be for members only. You're gonna have to. Only. We have Remember. to because of you. We have to edit out like ten minutes. Yeah, but you started it. You, I started. Hey, 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 the members I finished like it. Uncle Dexter talks. You know. <laughs> All right, that'll be for members only. Freaking scumbaggery. This is so stupid. I'm gonna have. You know, I'm gonna have to sanitize this boat once a week. You guys are gonna be like, I don't even. I'm not gonna park it out front of the resort. I changed my mind. I'm gonna see you idiots. You two idiots, like swimming out there every night with a little bonka little uh rowboat i'm gonna have to sanitize this boat burn it a little all right cool so we got a game plan now uh lots more mechanics it's gonna have to be kind of a surprise for the next video because i told you most of it but we're still kind of debating uh like for for example we have to take down the fence and cut this tree show this so the car can get to there we're gonna have to take down that fence and then this tree uh so that we can drive over here to the motor and get to the boat over there so there's some prep work we're gonna have to do in the next video i'll send alex and uh elvis down with all these mechanics and stuff they're also gonna right now i'm paying them to take down the old mast because we're gonna make that bigger anyway it's only like I said, like four by four. Anyway, we're taking it down and then cut the hole. They're getting the plan right now, so I'm not gonna say too much in case it changes, but yeah. This will be just a quick update video. We had to bring the, the new mechanics and new people down here, show them where the boat is and get like a game plan. And it's, we're gonna be spending, we're gonna be spending a lot on this, just getting the motor in. I think it's gonna be about 50,000 pesos. Uh, but it's worth it renting this big big truck with the boom on it if it works so anyways uh, tomorrow we'll be back here to do start all of that preparation work so thank you guys so much for subscribing and special thanks to all the members right here